All right, guys, so now we're going to learn how to build slobby charts in Tableau. Slobby charts are perfect in order to show how the ranking is changing over time for different categories. So let's see how we can do that. Since the ranking over time, that means we need the order dates. So let's go and bring the order dates to our view. Then the next step, as usual, we're going to get our measure, the sales to the rows. So here we want to compare the last two years. So in order to do that, let's go and filter the data. So show filter for the years and let's go and select the last two years so now we have to decide which category you want to compare you can go for the product categories we can go with the countries so let's go and pick the country and put it on the details so now the next one i'm gonna go and just make it a little bit bigger in order to compare those two years the next step is that we're gonna go and put the category or the country on the names so let's control on the country and drop it on the labels so now we can see the country name on the end of each labels, but I would like to have it as well at the start in order to get the slobby chart. So let's go to the labels. So now what do we have to do is to put the labels at the line ends. So instead of having all, let's switch it to line ends and let's close it. So now we can see that each line starts with the country name and ends as well with the country name. And now the last tip is that we want to add for each line like small circle. In order to do that, as we learned before, we go to the colors and we put the markers. So now we have a small circle at the start and at the end of each line. And this is the easiest way in order to build slobby chart in Tableau. So again, the use case of the slobby chart is that we can see how the rank are changing over the time so in 2021 you can see france first as a first then usa germany and the last was italy and now we can see the change over time in the 2022 germany went from place number three to be place number one and then france moved to number two usa moved to number three and as you can see italy nothing changed so this is the power of the slubby chart in order to see how ranking are changing over the time and of course in tableau we can go more advanced where we add more complicated stuff in order to have more customizations for example you say you know what i would like to have bigger circles so in order to do that we have to have two charts one for the line and one for the circles let me show you how we can do that let's take the sum of sales hold control and duplicate it so the first one gonna be the lines and the second one gonna be the circles. So let's go and switch for the second measure. And instead of automatic, we're gonna select here the circle. It's too way big for our visual. Let's go to the size over here and just reduce it in order to have smaller circles and as well a little bit more. So that's it. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna bring those two charts in one. So let's go and merge it using the dual axis. So I'm going to go to the second one over here, right click on it, and then let's go to the dual axis. Then if you look closely, those axes are not 100% synchronized. So what we're going to do, we're going to right click over here and then synchronize the axes. So now we got the circles exactly in the place that we need. So since we have two axes that have the same information, I'm going to go and hide one of them. So let's go and disable the show header. And now you got the full customizations of the charts. You can say, you know what, for the lines, I would like to have another color. For example, let's have a gray color. Or you might say, let's make it a dashed line. So we go to the path over here and move it to the dashed line. So with that, we get full customizations on our chart. But usually for the sloppy charts, we have a solid line between. So that's it. This is how we can create sloppy chart in Tableau.